Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Little extra Monday upload talking about winter upgrades because a lot of people are starting to ask me questions about what is winter upgrades, how's it going to work this year. Last year they changed it, but you know, are they going to do that the same this year? When could that be coming? I want to talk about it all today and give you a preliminary look on how winter upgrades have changed over the past couple of years. Because some people have already started asking me, hey, yo, can I buy informs or is my player of the month Bruno Fernandez going to get upgraded? Is my player of the month Joao Felix going to get upgraded? In years past, we would have said yes, but last year EA changed upgrades. So I want to talk all about it today and even look at some, some cards and kind of lead you guys on a path to help you find cards that might have informs and stuff that do get upgraded if they do upgrades a certain way. It's very confusing. This is always one of the most confusing things about FIFA every year is winter upgrades because EA always changes it, right? They always change what cards they're upgrading, how they're doing the, the upgrade to the special cards. If a player's base card gets an upgrade, how do you know if their informs get upgraded as well? Um, and just kind of like the differences between the years. And I'm going to talk about all of that today because that is something that we could see this Friday because that is something that has always come out with the winter refresh promo. So winter refresh has always kind of included winter upgrades in this February time frame. Let's talk about it, right? So we're starting with last year because last year EA changed it up completely with what they did, right? Last year, they only had the top 50 most improved player upgrades, and they linked us to this FIFA forum to see the upgraded players, which they said uh, these 50 players will have their ratings permanently updated to reflect their outstanding form in the first half of the season. Only new base player items found in packs will have updated ratings, but certain existing inform items will have their ratings automatically updated, right? Automatically updated. Now, of course, before we look at that list, this was the big thing that was different about FIFA 20. The criteria for a winter refresh upgrade. Only players who are receiving a plus three overall upgrade from their current base item are eligible to receive a player upgrade. So it was only plus threes, whereas in years past, they did plus ones, plus twos, and lower than plus threes. They also said for informs and special cards, if an upgraded player's new overall rating and or face stats do not equal or surpass an existing inform rating, his informs will not get an upgrade. And if it does, if they do equal or so surpass his existing first inform rating, his informs will get an upgrade. So last year in FIFA 20, this was the list, right? You had so many people that were buying special cards for regular you know upgrades that should have been plus ones or plus twos and those didn't come so a lot of people lost coins last year and a lot of the market dropped because only these 50 players got upgrades right there were some big names in here right jamie vardy getting in mason mount daniel james adama Traore, james madison i remember some of those special cards they got upgraded holland got an upgrade last year timo Werner, zakaria uh you look down the list uh, those are kind of the big names. Alexander Isak, right? Regulon. We said we got some of these players even in Future Stars just a little bit ago. But the big change in FIFA 20 from what it was in years past was only the plus three overalls got upgraded. So like no special cards got upgraded. There were very few special cards that actually got updated in FIFA. Whereas in FIFA 19, with FIFA 19 Winter Refresh, what they did was they released the certain players by league and they did Basically, how they do team of the season, they did a Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, the top five leagues, and then a rest of the world. And they put these cards in packs with their upgraded ratings, right? Take a look at the Premier League. Harry Kane gets a plus one. So then what you would do is you would go out and look, did any of these stats, so Kane got plus one shooting, plus one passing, plus two physical, and those were all the stat upgrades overall inside of his plus one player stat boost right so you would look at Kane's inform cards and you would say hey are any of these equal to or less than his new card and that would in turn mean that his, his special item would get upgraded right but you see plus ones plus threes for Van Dyke a plus one for Aubameyang Allison all the wild I remember specifically in FIFA 19 making coins off of Aubameyang's informs that got upgraded and selling into the hype because again the this has been the way that EA has done it for so long with the plus ones plus twos and plus threes and above whereas last year in FIFA 20 they only did the plus threes so I've already had people start to ask me what cards could get upgraded this year 
and could we see an a boost for special cards, right? And these are three players that people have started asking me about already. Joao Felix, Bruno Fernandes, and Erling Haaland because they are due upgrades. How do we know that they're due upgrades? How do we know which players are due upgrades, right? It's based off of, we think, the card stats that are in the system for career mode and EA updates those all the time. But this website right here is sofifa.com and I'm pretty sure that it mimics it mimics that career mode database. So we're going to take a look at Joao Felix, right? Joao Felix shows in Sofifa as an 83 rated card. Now we know that his base item is 81 rated and he has an 84 rated inform. This is the card that's in question for the possible upgrade. Because if they do do upgrades this year, like they have in FIFA 19, FIFA 18 years before last year, then technically Joao Felix will get an 83 rated gold card. And most likely you would hope that they would boost that 83 rated gold card enough so that one of his face stats, he got all plus threes and plus four, fours from his gold card to his inform, but you would hope that they would upgrade one of his stats. Let's say they upgrade him to 77 passing. That would equal the amount of passing that's on this inform. So then in turn, this inform would get another boost and it would probably go to an 86. This inform could go to an 86. I don't know if they'd make it an 85 or 86, but usually 84s go to 86s. So then he would get a boost as well. And then since that would press his 86 rated inform would probably overlap with some of the stats on this player of the month, you would then see a possibility of this player of the month going up to an 88 and the possibility of this headliner card going to an 88 as well because of those cards getting pushed up by that overall rating. So let's look at like Bruno Fernandez, right? Because, you know, I got play them with Bruno Fernandez, 92 rated. I'm interested if you're going to upgrade Bruno, which in Sofia, he shows as an 88 rated card, his base cards an 87, right? And he also has an 88 rated inform. So let's say what's, how much of a boost do we have here? Plus one pace. So like almost guaranteed if they do upgrades the way they did last year, that you would see this Bruno inform get upgraded because plus one upgrades, like that's bound to happen. Like we saw with the Harry Kane, right? And the Aubameyang. Aubameyang got plus one shooting, plus one passing, one physical, and two dribbling. That's a pretty normal upgrade from like a plus one stat on a card, right? Um, with this 87 Bruno, if he was actually to get an 88 rated gold card, he would probably have some stats that would overlap or be surpassed. And even just the 88 rated fa face card stat would push this inform up. Yeah, easy enough. This card would go to 88 rated or his gold card would. So that means this one would automatically go to an 89, pushing all of these Bruno Fernandez cards up one, except for the team of the year. Team of the years don't get upgraded. Now that leaves us with one question. Last year, they said they did not apply the upgrades to ultimate scream items, nor did they apply it to future stars objective players. Because if you look at this list and think about what happened last year, Daniel James had an objective card. And I think Victor Osiman was in here as well. Um, I thought I saw Victor Osiman and he had a card as well. Um, maybe that was incorrect. I'm not sure if I saw him or not, but Dan James got a plus three and his objective card was not upgraded with that plus three stat boost. So uh, it looks like Scream items and the Future Stars are kind of the only ones that we have to worry about um, uh, about that. And I think down here in FIFA 19 as well, it said non-informed players will not receive an upgrade. If an upgrade's new overall rating does not equal or surpass, he won't get an upgrade. And they, they, the exception was the ultimate Scream cards as well. Um, and then, of course, the UCL items were different in FIFA 19, so that's kind of not um, relative to this year. But this is the big question that I want to answer you guys and talk about a little bit more. Are they going to do upgrades the same way they did in FIFA 19, where we saw a lot of special cards get upgraded? Or are they only going to do ones in FIFA 20 like they did with plus threes and above? Last year, Winter Refresh, the promo itself, was one of the biggest L's of a promo that we had inside of FIFA 20. It was bad. It was literally bad. There was no hype because the winter re the the winter refresh and the winter upgrades specifically were just dead, and nobody really cared because all we wanted was the winter upgrades, right? And that's what people are wanting this year as well. So EA, if you're listening, it's not too late. All right, do upgrades like you have done before, but can you invest in these cards for an upgrade? Now, here's what I would say: I'm not going to be doing it. I'm not going to be doing it. I'm only 
If I'm buying any cards, it's going to be because I want to get ahead of people that are thinking that they could invest for this possibly happening. But since EA has switched it around a couple times now between the last two years with the way they're doing winter upgrades, I don't really want to risk it. I don't want to chance it, right? So this Joao Felix, I bought one today at 93,000 coins because he was selling at 100K earlier today. But I can see a card like this with his plus two potential boost coming if they do winter upgrades the old way this car would get upgraded. So I am just honestly seeing, thinking right now and starting to see this honestly, that if cards are getting boosts, especially some of these hype cards like this Holland um, that people like to use, which I probably should have bought one of these tonight because he was 500K at a point and now he's 540. That's besides the point. But people are going to start to look at these and say, hey, he's supposed to get an upgrade. He should go up in rating, right? And especially if you find players that are going to get a plus three, it's kind of harder to do that because usually it means they're more of a lower level. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure which players could be getting a plus three this year, but this website would be a great, great help in finding that. Renato Sanchez, 79 rated. What is Renato Sanchez's base card? Uh, I think his base card is still a 79. I don't think that's actually an upgrade. Uh, okay, it's a plus one, a plus one. So I'm not entirely sure which players are getting plus three or bigger boosts this year in FIFA. But if you go around and you find some of those cards, I've already heard of like people investing in Andre Silva, actually. Andre Silva is one inform card that I've heard a lot of people, 82 plus one. So does that mean he's going to be an 83? Andre Silva, let me take a look at him. Andre Silva's base card this year is a 79, so he would get a plus two uh, or a plus three. So that would mean his informed carbs would get upgraded regardless whether they did it like last year or like FIFA 19. So I know for a fact that people have been buying up this inform purely for the fact that he could get a plus two in rating or a plus three, and that would push this card up to a very high rated inform, which would then make him worth more on the market. Now, I understand why you're investing in that, but this is already an investment that has gone up from 17,000 coins to 25K, 27K based off of that thinking. So I'm not interested in this card in itself, but look look and see if you can find other cards, right? Just search players in here that might get plus three ratings based off of their performances in this past year. And if you look at the list from last year in FIFA 20, it's a lot of young guys. Adama, right? James Madison, Jack Grealish. Uh, there's that Victor Osman I was looking for before, uh, Erling Haaland, Marcus Taram, you know, Zakaria, Hakimi, Onana, Demiral, Lautaro Martinez. Uh, so there's a lot of younger cards that got in last year because they have lower base card ratings. So a plus three for a lot of those guys is a lot of the upgrades that we saw last year were like 77 to 80 rated. Whereas this year and in years like, like, we saw with FIFA 19, you get the, the 89 rated Harry Kane to the 90 rated Harry Kane. So I'm really hoping they do upgrades like they did in FIFA 18, FIFA 19, and not like last year in FIFA 20. But since we don't know what exactly is gonna be happening, I'm probably gonna stay away from that. And if you guys wanna invest in some of that, again, I just wanted to lay out this video today and talk about the potential risk versus reward type situation with some of these cards. I don't know about Cancelo. What's, what kind of upgrade is Cancelo getting um, with the year that he has had? Cancelo shows here as an 84 rated card on SoFIFA. Uh, what is Cancelo's base card rating? Is it 80, 83? So Cancelo would be getting a plus one technically. And then we would look and see, okay, will the new 84 Cancelo, if they do it that way, have you know high enough physical or probably pace Physical or pace would what I physical dribbling or pace is what I would think would be the stat that would equal or be above the inform and then of course upgrade the rest of his special cards. So that's kind of the game that we're playing right now, right? So I just wanted to make this video today to kind of talk about it. And if you do want to do some intensive research, you can look at some young cards on that website. I'll drop the link down below in the description. Again, I'm not going to be investing in these upgrades because I just don't know how EA is going to do it. And there's plenty of other ways to make coins on the market uh, other than investing in that stuff. But if you do see some of those cards rise up this week, that is why they're rising. It's because people are potentially buying because they think they could get upgraded. And if we do get information about winter upgrades later this week, we will update that and we will update you on the market accordingly as stuff changes. So 
That's why I wanted to make this second video today, talking about it and clearing the questions, clearing the air, because a lot of people are just assuming that upgrades are gonna happen like they happened in FIFA 18 and 19, where plus ones and plus twos will happen. Whereas last year, a lot of people forget that only plus threes and above got their boost. So that's the video for today, boys. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. Catch you guys later. Peace out.